Okay, guys, I received my Amazon delivery. I'm preparing for a wash and go. So I have two new products and a couple of my old faithful. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. So let's get ready to do the wash and go. It's not sponsored. I bought all these products. Okay, guys, I want to apologize in advance for the first part of the recording because my mic was not acting right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a long waited video. Oh my God, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. A real while. Okay, first, let me start by saying for those of you who had followed me a while back, I lived in New York, and now I live in Maryland. And the water here, guys, is hard water. Oh my God, it dries everything, literally dries everything. <laughs> oh my God, your hair is dry, your skin's dry, you keep having to moisturize, extra moisturize, like, you know. Anyway, I'm doing this video because I got a lot of questions about my hair products and how my hair been doing since I've been over here and it's been going up and down, at least for the first, it's been, it was going up and down. I should have done the video at that time, um, but life happens. Anyway, I... I've been using my Old and Faithful, oh, the same shampoo, this line. I've been using the shampoo in this line and the conditioner in here. And to keep it moisturized, keep my hair moisturized a lot, nothing but like water, hold that top. Okay guys, um, to keep my hair a lot moisturized, because of the hot water here, I use a little bit of like uh, about a tablespoon of conditioner. You can use whatever leave-in conditioner you have or whatever conditioner you have. Um, let me get the one that I'm currently using and I'm switching. Okay guys, this is the one that I've been using um, in my water since I've moved here. This is what I was I've been using because as I said it's hard water and my hair keep drying up like dries up like literally dries right now it's not in a bad state it's not too dry because it still have a little bit of moisture in it but it's dry. But it's not as brittle dry as first that I had just came here. It was brittle dry, like, you know. Anyway, guys, so this is what I was, that I've been using. About a tablespoon of this in, in this with water. That's it. And that what helped in between for the wash and go and of course I'm still using my Old and Faithful guys my hair love this oh my god my hair really love this so I'm sticking to this one you see I even got a bigger size um, this is the size that I've been buying because of I have to use you have to use extras Okay, today for my wash and go, for my wash today, I'm using this line. This is one of the new lines um, for the Shea Moisture. And I've seen it everywhere. Moisturizer. Is it moisturizer? Moisture. Shea Moisture. I see it everywhere, so I had to try it. So, I'm trying it with you guys, and I will let you know how my hair likes it, because you have to find what your hair likes, guys, and this is the leave-in that I'll be using. 
and the leave-in that I was that I have been using prior to this is I didn't even bring it. Okay, guys, this is the leave-in that I'm currently using. Um, again, my hair likes this. Um, just find a line that your hair likes. Um, for me, Cantu don't work. Cantu dries my hair, literally dries my hair too. Um, it doesn't keep that moisture. Mm -mm. So my hair don't like that. Um, there was another one that I tried and my hair didn't like that one either. But this combination, <laughs> you can, I use the whole line for this. My hair likes the whole line. And the same with this. I just choose these two with this. <laughs> my hair like this line. So I can pick and choose with this line. With these lines because my hair loves these. And for the gel. Um, I was using eco, eco gel that I was using and sometimes it doesn't work with Shea Moisture products. Sometimes they leave that white flakiness in your hair. Um, there was a line that I used in Shea Moisture that I used the, um, echo gel with and it will leave that but normally it doesn't so that was my holy grail also and then I found this this is not a strong hole um, it said strong hole on it but it's not a strong hole at least not for my hair let me rephrase for my hair it's not a strong hole um, it holds it holds the curls because that's what I have in my hair right now. Um, I don't know. I have a mixed feeling with it. I have a love-hate relationship. Um, <laughs> I love the curls when I use it like the day of. But you don't keep the curls like the other gel would keep the curls. You know what I'm talking about? Um... It's light. For me, it's light. So that's why I like it also because it don't weighs your hair down. Like some gel do wear your hair down. This one doesn't. At least not my hair. It doesn't weigh my hair down. So that's what I've been using. So as I said, today I'm using the shampoo in this. I have that shampoo for so... <laughs> oh my God, guys, I have that shampoo... Let me get a little <laughs> Okay, guys. I have the shampoo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. For over almost three years. <laughs> almost three years I have the shampoo. I love the shampoo. This is like the bulb. I mean, it really cleans your hair. Um, and it does, don't use a lot of it. Oh no, it lathers well. I mean, like, well. I like, say about a teaspoon. For my hair, I use like maybe a teaspoon or a half teaspoon for my hair. And it lathers well. I mean... <laughs> You'll be rinsing for a minute. <laughs> so I love this shampoo very, very much. I love this line. I don't... I don't think I find any of the Shea Moisture products that my hair don't like. No. Because this is... What I use also, I use this line also. So it really depends on if like now my hair have been washed in like two weeks. I don't wash my hair often. I wash my hair every two weeks or sometimes every three weeks depends on the situation. Um, because
because guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, it's like when your hair needs to wash, like curly hair. When your curly hair needs to wash, I swear your curls been popping, and you like, I don't want to wash my hair. <laughs> the curls are popping right now, <sighs> guys. But you know you have to wash your hair. So, as I said, today's wash day, so I'm using this. And this is going to be my conditioner. And I've never used Amla, Amla, Amla oil. Oh my God, this smells good. Good. My sister won't like it. Oh my goodness. Nobody said anything about her smell. This smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to use this one. Because I love this one. You guys can see I never opened the pump. Because I, <laughs> I just used it most of for here. So I just pop this open and then take out about a tablespoon like I said. But guys, I love the scent of this. My sister is not a I'm high scented person. She don't like high scented stuff. So I know she's not going to be using my shirt in my conditioner. So, we'll leave this for a little bit. Let's give it a little rest for right now because I'm be using this one. I can't wait to see what my hair look like with this one. How it's gonna how it's gonna look and how it's gonna feel with this line. I just feel a little bit because I didn't get a shampoo in it, but I'll try to get the shampoo, shampoo and conditioner in this line. I'll use only this line in the next wash and go. But right now We'll do the next like I usually do. We'll do these two. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. When it's time to put the products in. I'm going to use this, this, and this today. These are my three products I'm, I'll be using today and a little bit of my oil hmm. so uh -huh. so see you guys in a little bit let me go and wash my hair and put away some of these products from here that I'm not going to be using and then I'm going to take these back because this is what I'm this is what I'm, I will be using and my holy grail brush mm. guys this make you do your wash and go so fast because it it clears it detangles so easily with this brush all right see you guys in a little bit okay guys my hair is officially washed and dyed. I don't remember. I'm not sure if I mentioned that I was dyeing my hair also, but I needed to dye my hair, especially my edges, the roots of my hair needed to dye. And I usually use one of my old. I have a couple of these old T-shirts that I use to dry my hair. But if you have a microfiber towel, you can also use that. I don't use anything else to dry my hair. Well, just to take out some of the excess water. Now we're starting to do a thing or two. Um, I should have washed this off. Anyway, I'm going to use this one. 
All right. First off, I usually put a little bit of oil, especially in the roots. Because curly hair, natural hair, the roots can be real dry. And guys, that conditioner, oh my God. One, it smells good. I like the scent of it. If you like, if you don't like high scented um, perfume or high scented hair stuff, this conditioner is not going to be for you because it's really high scented. Okay, guys, I'm just sectioning my hair. All right, guys, I'm going to get the curls right back. I just need to detangle a little bit. Um, so that it's going to be easier for me to moisturize my hair, especially the roots. And I thought I brought other clips. What did I do with them? Okay. How are you guys dealing with the heat? Well, guys, this heat wave that's been going around. Normally, I would start from the back. <laughs> but because I'm doing a video for you guys, I'm going to start from my the sides here. And first things first, I need to detangle. Okay, let me go. This is how I normally would do it set them in rows uh, as you guys can see uh, it's gonna be my leave-in not trying to waste anything god this line is mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, put a little bit of gel in there. I have my water if my hair get too dry. So I'm starting off. And guys, don't be mean using this. This keeps your hair moisturized for a very long time. Okay, guys, I'm using my base, with, which is the Shea Enhanced Smoothie. Putting my base, I realized the bottom, the, I don't think I included the whole end of it for this one. Okay, so now let's see what's the slip with. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is a good slip. Mm-hmm. Oh, guys. And don't worry about how all this white is in your hair because all that is going to dry and that's what's going to keep your hair moist. That feels good. Oh, and then I use a little bit of the gel. This is just to keep the curls in a tad bit longer. Like I said, it's not a strong hole, but it does its job. Leave that like that for a little bit. You can see I need some moisturize. The moisturize up here. Okay. 
Okay, guys. I know we all have a problem area with our hair. Up here is my problem area. I have to extra moisturize that spot because I have no idea, but I always get so dry. Okay, guys, I'm looking. <laughs> I have my mirror right here. You see me looking down every so often. My mirror is right in front of me. Normally, I would do it in the bathroom, standing in front of the <laughs> mirror in the bathroom. Be generous, guys. Be generous. Especially if you have hard water. You're aware hard water is... I think California is another place, California, Arizona. Those places have hard water. So, yeah, in those areas, you'll need to extra moisturize like I am. Okay, guys, extra moisture, moisturizer in your hair will also prevent, help you to prevent breakage. I will also, um, do a video okay guys normally i would reactivate the products in my hair um, by using the conditioner water that i spoke about earlier but we'll do a video on how i do that because sometimes i still need to add a little bit more product to my hair but that's another video oh guys this conditioner one you have such a wonderful slip a little bit of the gel Some people don't use gel. They have a problem with the gel. But for me, I think I keep it keep my hair, um, the curls a tad bit. So instead of having to do my curls, refresh my curls in, I could go like a week without refreshing my curls. I try not to do that here. At least not yet. <laughs> I'm just putting a little bit more after leaving conditioner in my problem areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to do the other side and I'll bring you guys back when I start doing the back of my hair. And yes, guys, I recently um, clipped my ends. Well, I think I'm going to clip my ends, but I had to my hair. The ends were so dry. And again, I wish if I had wait did it let you guys see how dry the ends of my hair was. Guys, it was horrible. It was. So we'll see what it looked like when it's growing back. And thank God my hair don't take too long to grow back, so. I usually clip my hair at the beginning of summer, but I, didn't, I have never done a big clip like I did recently. But I usually clip my hair at the beginning of summer. Oh, I like the scent of this. So. <laughs> I think my mom would like it too. <laughs> the only person that won't like it is my sister. I can't wait to get my mom to try these two lines after I see how my hair comes out and get her a set. Because for those of you who don't know, I, my entire family end up going natural. <laughs> Even though my sister resists for a while. You know, she was like, I'm not doing that. Then her hair start breaking. And I was like, the only way your hair will come back properly if you start putting all that chemical stuff in your hair. Because she was doing the relax, the relaxer, the perm and stuff in her hair. And then after traveling in all different countries, dealing with all different types of water, that's where she, wherever she was, also did a number on her hair because like i said she was in she was living in california hot water and arizona 
had water again. And then she was living in the Caribbean, a different type of water. And then she was also going to in the sea to take her sea baths. And the salt water alone in there would too, guys. And salt water in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean Sea. Heals everything, dries everything. If you have a open wound on anything, <laughs> it's gonna burn, but it's gonna work. And also, if you have a coal and you're in the Caribbean, take a dip in the ocean. In the Caribbean Sea, and you're good to go, boo. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back when I finish the back and start the front. Put the back of my hair, guys. I need to do the front now. Okay, let's do the front. Guys, my hair got so thick. Oh my lord. It is so thick. Next time I do a wash and go, I'll show you guys once I clear my hair out uh, before I do go and wash my hair. And show you how thick my hair got. Make sure to protect your ends, guys, the ends of your hair. Because, you know, that's all, this piece are the old portion of your hair, so they dry even faster. You see, this is my problem area right here. You can see it looks dry. I have a little brush somewhere. Okay, guys, because my hair is wet, the shrinkage will be ridiculous. It's going to be like way up here. The more, moisture, the more moisture you put in your hair, the greater the, um, the shrinkage. I don't mind the shrinkage, especially in the summer. <laughs> because then it stays off my shoulder but if you do mind the shrinkage limit the amount of um, water you use you can just dampen okay so I'm going to leave this to dry off and then I'll be back so you guys can see what the curls look like yes that's the amount of uh, moisture moisturizers and stuff leave-in condition I have to use over here because of the hard water if I don't Lord I'll have to do my hair every day and that's not gonna happen <laughs> okay guys I'll see you guys in a few minutes uh, in a couple of hours because it's gonna take a little bit of time for my hair to um to dry so see you guys in a bit I'm gonna clear this out and try not to be tempted to play in your hair guys because <laughs> I tend to do that when I do when I just wash my hair I tend to water you know, fool around with the curls, but try not to do that because you're gonna dry your hair out. Your hands will take the um, moisture out of your hair. That's I don't like people touching my hair either. Nobody touching my hair. But guys, look at the curls. You guys seeing these curls? Turn around so you guys can see the curls. Look at the curls. Look at the curls. OMG. I think I have an additional 
um, favorite. My favorites are getting longer. <laughs> And this is what I used today. This, as you can guys can see, I used this one, this one, and this gel. That's all I have in my hair. And look at the curls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think my hair likes this. Mm. Yeah. All right. See you guys in a little bit. Yeah. I am liking this for real, for real, for real. Uh huh. I just like how the curls are coming. <laughs> All right. See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys look at these curls i turn around so you guys can see mm -hmm. and guys i will leave everything that i use in the description below oh lord look at that guys look at that mm -mm -mm. looking good looking good i love the way these curls came out today mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I was having some major mic issues <laughs> in this video. Please <laughs> accept my apologies. I put the mic, hooked the mic on to myself, but I did not click it on. So everything I said, nobody heard. We can only read lips. But anyway, let me translate. Okay, the middle portion of my hair was still... Um, wet it still had a little bit of moisture but the top of it had already dried off so what i was trying to do was try to clear out but then realize if i do that i'll create a lot of frizz so be careful of when you're doing that okay guys to prevent um the your hands from drying your hair um what you do is put a little bit of oil and rub your hands together and then start you can then fluff your hair or do whatever you wish to do with your hair at that time because now the oil will protect your hair and just puff it up if you like it some people like it puffed up i don't really do um just a little bit but you can see it's still you see the moisture was moisturizers were still in the root portion of it that's fine so just leave it to continue to dry and then yes it will just puff out <laughs> if you like your hair a lot of people like that big hair i don't like that big hair unless the wind does it and when the wind does it it does it perfect <laughs> right i'll try to keep up with i'm just trying to see what the curls see Just open them up a little bit. These ones are still. Don't do too much though because then you end up with a lot of um frizz. You don't want to do that either. So I'm gonna leave it as it is right now. I said that and then I touch it right. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave my hair like that. Let me turn around so you guys can see the back of it. This is what the back looks like. The sides. This I'll fluff up a little bit later on, but that's pretty much it. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, this is looking good. I am loving this, guys, for real. I really like this. What do you guys think? Leave a comment at the bottom.
Okay, guys, you can also use an Afro pick um, and then just put your hair, push it in and pull it up. But don't push it, pull it completely up just to give it that puff and Mother Nature will do the rest of it. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Tap that bell so you don't miss my other video. Stay safe and God bless. See you guys in my next video.